Welcome to Talking About Computer Science. Today, we are going to see how to make a backup of the file system of your container. Sometimes, you may already have thought, okay, I have a container, I have worked on that during a long time, and now I want to make a backup of these files to utilize in some another context. And it's very simple to do using the docker export command. So, this is the theme of this video, then let's start. As you can see here in this screen, I have one container named C1. So, let's open that in interaction mode to perform the creation of some files together. Okay, to do that, just enter the docker command, the exec um, instruction, it means to execute one command in an uh, existing and running container, then the parameters to say it's interactive, and then the container name, in this case it's C1, you can use the ID if it's the case, it's no matter, and then the command to be executed that in this case will be slash pin slash dash. Okay, then we are inside the container and you can see if we type here the command ls, we list the files. So we can create some new files with the touch command, like for instance my new file. We could create some another file with touch again, my second new file. Oops, touch one mistake here. And then if you list again the files, you can see you have created some new files here. Nice. But now if you would like to make a backup of that. So let's open now a second instance of the console and execute the export. Okay, just a moment. Let's do that again here. So we are going to execute Docker and then the export command, then the name of the container we are going to, uh, to export, in my case it's C1, and then the parameter output, okay? The output parameter is the name of the file which is going to receive the downloaded, the exported files and the generated in TAR format. So we could say that backup C1 some date, and then dot tar. right? It performed the, the export. This file is downloaded in the current directory. So here I am in this current directory. This file was created inside this directory, right? So this directory is right, is right here. And if we, with right click here, I have this program that helped me to open that. It opens here in a directory tree. And here is the files we have just created right now. Okay, that's that for this video. Hope you have enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.